yeah, because I think your toy is going to be... Well, I don't know how much toy drive she's she got. Does, right. does she? Let's mm -hmm. see it then. Because you know how to do the food stuff, right? Yeah, I haven't done it much. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Yes. Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Be careful of doing this. Because that's what we do to tease them to jump for it. Turn it off. Yeah, yeah. Tease you, tease you, tease you, tease you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the things dogs put crap with this after part of it is just amazing, isn't it? I think the best thing my kids ever did was chocolate flavoured bubbles. <laughs> that was just hysterical. One, one cue, then do something about it. Just keep pushing it in the back of her throat till she takes a nap. Mm. Good girl. Get it? Get it. Yeah, yes. get it, get it, get it. As soon as the dog's let go, okay. let them have Especially it back again. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. So now just put it on the floor next to you. And release. Yeah, and play, and ask her for a sit. <laughs> I want to play and I want to watch that person over there. Sit. <laughs> Good. Put the toy down to one side. That's perfect. Release. That's lovely. Do you see where we're going with this? Yeah. So, you don't necessarily need to teach your sit-stay. Okay. You need to teach your release. Mm -hmm. Because inherent re in the release is that you can release you. So, you start a puppy off, they're in the sit, you put their toy out like that. Get it? Yeah! What a good puppy. Very, very quickly builds into distance and everything else. You don't need to do the whole stay, stay, sit, sit, stand away, step back, stand away, step back. Okay. Work on your release. Okay. Okay? Because your release is what will drive everything in agility. And don't worry about what the kids do. <laughs> <laughs>